With or without the extension of martial law, the Philippine Army will still continue implementing tight security in Mindanao. And with Executive Order No. 70 in effect, regular operations will still be imposed to curb insurgency in the region. More details from Jennifer Gaetano of PIA Caraga. The Philippine Army assures the public that they are heightening security measures in Caraga even when the head of the state should decide that martial law in Mindanao would no longer be extended. This was reiterated by Brigadier General Maurito Licodine, commander of our 2nd Brigade Philippine Army, as he stressed the directive of President Rodrigo Duterte on the implementation of the Executive Order 70 or the whole-of-nation approach to end local communist armed conflict. He said, there have been significant number of former rebels who brought along their high-powered firearms as they voluntarily surrendered to the authorities. These former rebels have chosen to live a normal and peaceful life with their families and availed of the assistance from the government for a decent livelihood. What we are doing now, we continue. No? Checkpoints, together with the PNP, will be strict. Here in Caraga, I think uh, we can manage even without personal opinion. The official added that Caraga, as well as other regions in Mindanao, would become more progressive if peace and order is sustained and safety and security of the local populace are ensured. More investments would also come in for Caraganons. Colonel Alan Hambala, commander of our first brigade, also revealed that former rebels have already availed and benefited from the different programs and services of various government agencies, aside from the financial assistance that they would receive by the time of their surrender through the Enhanced Comprehensive Local Integration Program or ECLIP. Hambala further bared that a halfway house was built in Agusan del Sur for the former rebels to start a new life. The troops also continue to pursue the other members of the New People's Army who are causing violence and abuses to various sectors, particularly the indigenous peoples. Meanwhile, it can be recalled that Putuan Bishop Most Reverend Cosme Damian Almidilia has also expressed his support to the implementation of the martial law in Mindanao. Jennifer Peña Gaetano of the Philippine Information Agency, Caraga, for the Nation.